Hi friends, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and I am so excited today to share with you my new math centers. These, um, they're, they're just little activities um, that you can use. There's six different ones, and you can use them with little kids. I'm gonna use them with my, some of them I'm gonna use with my um, three-year-old, and then some of them I'm gonna use with my five-year-old. Um, so they're, you know, anywhere from preschool through like first grade, these would be great for um, number sense. They're all for using numbers one through 10. So I'm just gonna start here with the very first center. It's a crayon flip and count. And basically what it is, is I made this little mat and then I made these cards. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, I'm gonna flip the cards over and put them you know, on this little square on the mat. And then all you need is just a box of crayons. And what the kids are gonna do is they're gonna flip over a card like this. It says five on there, so they're gonna count out five crayons. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that, and then they're gonna keep going. So then they'll do the next card. And so then they would do two crayons, and so on. So that is what this center is, this activity is. The next one, they're going to use dry erase markers. I made two sets, um, some with um, dotted numbers to make it easier for little kids, like for my three-year-old, and then some are blank. So, for example, these are um, dry erase markers, and so my three-year-old, what he would do is I would show him how to count, one, two, three, four, five, six, count the scoops, all the way to 10, and then he's going to practice writing the number 10 with his dry erase marker. So these ones all have the number there so he can just trace it. Now with my five-year-old, he's gonna have to do it on his own. So he's gonna have to count one, two, and then he's going to have to draw, or write the, practice writing the number two in the box. <laughs> I can't do it one-handed. There you go. So we get the idea. So I made two different types. Now I also, if you notice here, made, um, these cards that go along with it. It gives the um, directions and it also gives a picture so that you can use these um, cards with your centers to keep it with it. So you always have a picture and you always have a have the words telling you how it works um, or how, how to play it. So what I did is I printed them out on laminating paper and then I just um, you know stuck it to the bag that I'm going to keep the center in. If you can see here's the crayon one and I keep it in this plastic bag and I just printed it out on laminating paper and stuck it on. But you could just print it out on regular paper and then throw it in the bag if you want. If you don't, you know, have laminating paper to make a label. But that's what I did. Um, and there's one of those direction pages for each of the centers. All right, so let me show you the next center. So this one is really fun. I made it a um, farm um, theme. And as you can see, here's the direction page that I printed out and I stuck it onto the bag that I'm gonna keep it in. And basically what it is, is it comes with this mat and it comes with tractor cards that all have numbers on them. And you're gonna flip them over on the mat. And then it also comes with cats, cows, pigs, and hens for the uh, mat. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna flip over a card and they're gonna look at the number. There's number five. And then they're going to find a five in each Pile. So I'm going to look through my hens here, and I found my number five, so I'm going to put my hen on my mat, and then I'm going to look through my pigs. The pigs are um, tally marks, if you see that. Here's the number five, so I'm going to put my number five, and then I'm going to look through my um, cows. The cows are just, they have little bears in a jar, so we're going to look through there, and we're going to look for the one that has five bears. Did I flip it? No. That's See, there's two, three, I must have passed it somewhere in here. But anyway, so they're gonna find the jar that has five, that has too many, that has too many. There it is. Okay, and then the cat has these little um, blocks, little squares. So there's the five. And then they would be done with the five. And then you could um, start over, you could take them off, and then they would flip over another card and they would do it again. It has all the numbers to 10. And it has all of the cards so they could 
do it over and over again for all the different numbers. So they're learning tally marks, they're looking and reading di uh, dice formation. These are um, little blocks, and then they also have the little bears. So that is that activity. All right, let's move that one. Okay, let's show you this one. Okay, this one is a, is a lot of fun. It has these little strips, and they all have um, these pictures of these pencils. And basically what they're going to do is they're just going to count the pencils in, the, in, in here. So four pencils, and then they're going to look for the corresponding number four in the cards. Now I printed these off on um, a bright colored paper just to kind of make it more fun. I should have mentioned that too with the last um, activity. With this activity um, I printed them off on like colored paper just to kind of make it more lively. But anyway, so they're going to find the number four and they're going to stick it on there and then they're going to find the um, blocks for the number four and they're gonna stick it on there and it'll match up. So this is one-to-one -one correspondence and then it's also number two picture correspondence. So, um, so those are a lot of fun. So then they can just keep going and then they would do the next one. Two and then they'd find the, the two blocks and the number two. So that is that activity. These were so fun to make by the way guys. I had so much fun. All right, this one is um, pizza counting. Oh, and by the way, um, I made all of these also in black and white because I know sometimes it can be a lot of ink to be using to print off all of these. So um, they also come in, they're also in black and white if you decide to get the download. But anyway, these ones are little, my kids love pizza. So these are just um, little pizzas and basically they're just going to count the pepperonis. So this one has two pepperonis and then they're going to cover up the um, corresponding 10 frame that has two pepperonis. So this one has two, or has two dots. So this one has two and they're gonna cover it up. Um, right now I just am using, these are pom-poms with magnets glued to them. Um, and they're really nice to use on a cookie sheet like I'm using now because they stick pretty good. Um, however, um, you can use, um, clothes pins obviously they can clip their answer or you can use any kind of manipulative um, that you have to cover up the answer so that's what those are those are kind of fun and it also gives them practice um, with um, recognizing 10 frames okay so let's go over here to this one all right this is the last one and this is match the number words so I have all the different number words to 10 on here and then I also have cards I have four different sets of cards now they can do this activity in two ways they could just use one set so you could just give them let's say you just give them the um, hands you could just give them the hands and they could fill up their mat with just the hands so this is five and match them up this is ten so I'm gonna match it up six and so on you get the idea so they could do the whole mat with just the hand cards or you could do the whole mat with just the bugs so I give you some little bug cards where they count the numbers and they're gonna match it up so like here's number one here's number three and so on they could do all the bugs or I also have candy um, jars, so they could do the candy jars. This is seven. Okay, or the other one that I have is this little girl with balloons. Okay, so then they're gonna count the number of balloons and they're gonna put it on their mat. Okay, or you can mix it up, so you could give them, you know, two little girls with the balloons. They said they could do the balloons and then they could do the, um, a few of the candy ones and then they could maybe do um, a few of the bugs. And you don't have to print it out on colored paper. I just did that just to kind of make it a little bit more um, fun. So you could mix them up and do them like that as well or you could just do all of one type. Um, but I gave you four different choices. So I cannot wait to use these with my kiddos. This is the last um, center that I made. Um, I'm so excited about these. I think they're gonna be a lot of fun and I plan on making a lot more. I plan on making a whole handful of different ones for, you know, 
um, bigger numbers and, you know, doing different activities. It doesn't have to always just be counting. But I'm, I'm planning on making a lot more, and I'm also planning on making some more phonics ones. So be on the lookout for that. I'm having so much fun creating new things to use with my kiddos for next school year. Um, when the school year starts up, I probably won't be as fast on getting some of these made because, or getting things made because obviously we'll be doing school. Um, and it'll be a little bit more, you know, time, you know, of my time. But anyway, that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you um, what we did. I'll leave links below to all of this stuff in the description box. Also, all of these different activities are also going to be in um, some of my bundles. So I will leave links to those as well because you can obviously save money if you purchase the bundle because you get a whole bunch of stuff um, and you get it for cheaper. So anyways, I'll leave links to everything. And thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate all your kind comments all the time. So we'll see you next time. Bye.